broke it. Awesome, okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's finally happening. I'm reviewing, demoing, swatching, talking about the Kylie lip kits. I have two here. I have Dolce K and Candy K. So first I'm going to talk about them a little bit, the price, buying in the UK, then I'm going to swatch them both, then I'm going to see how long they last for, then I'm going to kind of do final thoughts. And then also at the end I'm going to do a giveaway, so make sure you watch to the end for that. So the first thing that I want to do is kind of generally talk about these. I actually do like the boxes that they come in, I think that they're really nice. I like that they come in a separate box. I'm all about packaging. Kylie's tips, line lips with lip liner and fill lips in with liquid lip colour. No shit. <laughs> um, yeah, ingredients all look pretty normal, made in the US. Looking at the outer packaging, I think that that's really cute. I like the kind of matte effect on the lip liner and I do like the paint lip stick drips. So let's talk a little bit about price. Let me get my iPad out for this. So basically I live in the UK which I'm sure most of you can tell by my accent and therefore buying these is a little bit of a pain in the ass. These are $29 for the lip kits and then it's $15 for shipping and that makes $44. Yeah? Yeah $44. So, $44 in pounds is £32.84. <sighs> and also, that's not taken into account that if you do buy in the UK, I've heard a lot of people saying that they have to pay an additional, like, £12 uh, customs charge, which would take your total to, like, £45 for a lip liner and a lipstick. I also want to just disclaim before I carry on with this video because I know that some people are going to comment on this. Um, I do have my own liquid lipstick range. That's hnhuk.com and the reason that I'm bringing this up is that I don't want people to think that I'm being biased or I'm going to bash this because of that or, you know, it's, you know, my liquid lipsticks against theirs. I love liquid lipsticks, that's why I made my own range of them. So just kind of forget the fact that I have my own because I'm not, that's in no way influencing what I'm saying. The first one that I'm going to swatch is Candy K and then I'm going to take that off and do Dolce K and leave that on for the rest of the day, see how it wears and check back at different points during the day to see how long it lasts for. So all I've done for my lips and this is like the thing that I would recommend you all do if you're going to wear a liquid lipstick is to exfoliate your lips either the night before or before and then put on a lip balm and then before you put the product on wipe off the lip balm because lip balm can interfere with the formula. Okay, let's do it. I feel like this is a little bit brown. I thought it was gonna be a bit pinkier than this. I am overlining a tiny little bit because I just kind of want to check that you can overline with these as well. Okay, so that is the lip line. I think that the lip line is actually a really nice colour. I've literally just broken it. Awesome, okay. Um, yeah, so basically I put the cap on the bottom while I did the lip liner and it pulled off the end and now the product is exposed. Okay, not happy about that. I feel like for £32 your lip liner should probably be a little bit more sturdy, but that's just me. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I actually really love this lip colour. I would wear this on its own, I think it's stunning. It goes on really creamy doesn't taste like anything. The formula goes on really nice. Um, there is also a like a clear stopper on the inside which means that you don't get tons of product on the brush which I really like. It's kind of like a moussey texture. It's not super thin and it's not super thick. It looks a little bit darker on me than I've seen some pictures and I think that's because I'm very pale. So just for your reference, if you're looking at this and wondering, you know, if it will suit you, I am quite pale. I'm like an, maybe an NC20. Um, so bear that in mind. So it maybe looks a bit darker on me than it will on you. It smells like vanilla, which I've heard a lot. I heard 
that it's supposed to smell like cupcakes. To me, it just smells like vanilla, really nice. Um, and it doesn't feel super dry on the lips. It doesn't really feel like I have much on my lips, just like a regular lipstick. Move on to Dolce K now. I'm living for this colour. And I'm sorry for horrendously overlining my bottom lip there. It was an accident and then I got past the point of no return and we're stuck with it like that now. Again, I do feel like this looks darker on me. So far, so good. I'm going to leave it on now and come back in a few hours. Let's have a time check. It is currently 10 past 1. So I will come back in a few hours and update you. Okay, I am back. It is now 10 past 3. In that time, I've eaten like a full plate of nachos because a lot of the reviews that I've seen are like, oh, I'm going to wear it throughout the day and then I'm going to only drink water through a straw and I'm going to eat soup. Like, no, that's not realistic. I've just chowed down on a full plate of nachos. So we're really putting it to the test here. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's really not too bad. Um... It's just coming up a little bit on the inner rim. This is the point where I would normally like top up going with another layer, but I don't want to do that just yet. I don't want to do another layer until about five hours after first application, but it's quite faded. It's not like it's a strict line. A lot of people are saying that this is like drier than the Sahara Desert to the point where it makes it look really manky when it wears off and it just looks like a bum hole. Um, again, I've not experienced that. It's quite like faded and blended. So yeah, I'm going to go away again now for a few more hours. So it is now about six o'clock. So I've had this on for almost five hours and this is my last check-in stop. It's kept quite well. It's starting to smear a little around the edges. It's quite uh, streaky now. I'm going to zoom in and show you that first. But yeah, it's a little bit streaky on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is see how well this layers. It looks pretty much good as new. It looks a bit thicker and a bit drier and a bit heavier but not too much. The colours I like. I also like the colour selection. I feel like she's building up a really nice selection of colours. I do want to try more. So for the giveaway, I'm going to give away a Kylie lip kit. This lip kit can be any colour that you want on the website that's available on the day that I email you to choose it. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is to click on the Rafflecopter link in the description. That's how I do all my giveaways. It's just like the best, safest way to do it. So if you click on that link, it will tell you the ways that you can earn entries. The more things you do to earn entries, obviously the more entries you have, the more chance you have of winning, but you don't have to do all of them. The only thing you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, obviously, because this is a giveaway for my subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me a comment down below saying which colour you would want to try if you won and also what colour you would like me to review next. And I will see you next time.